All right, everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm, uh, I'm actually doing this. I'm becoming a YouTuber now, and uh, I'm pumped about it. Everyone who's here, anyone who's here, fact one about me that you know is I'm a musician, musical artist, okay? But that's, that's the main thing. But this YouTube thing is necessary at this point because I'm realizing that um, we're at this point now where just reality itself is not a shared thing. It's just being torn apart. Um, th there really is no... It's not just a question of opinions, orientations, people's vibes. It's like literally what reality is, is absolutely fragmented to the point where there actually is this imperative, for me at least, I think for a lot of people, to create a reality radiating outwards from who you are, who your friends are, just your local little pocket of culture, whatever, um, and to start from the middle and build that reality out. Because there's just from above, it's, it's just, I mean, it's, just, it's done, dude. It's done. The New York Times, Pitchfork, The Atlantic, I mean, it's just, it's, fuck that. It's, there's nothing with that. So, um, yeah, so what this... Um, what this station is going to be, station, see I'm like showing my age here a little bit, what what this channel is going to be about is primarily coming from music and culture, but it's really going to be like music and philosophy, okay? On the music hand, I'm an actual person making art in a legitimate way, as you know this, in that realm. Um, Philosophy-wise, that's my other love, you know, that's my other big love. And when it comes to philosophy, I'm just definitely a pseudo-intellectual, you know. Uh, but the role of the sued in the current moment is important, I think, because um, people are looking for meaning. Part of this building out of reality um, is this is part of why people are thirsting for philosophy right now. And I love I I'm finding these other, like, suds online that I'm kind of, like, vibing with. And, um, yeah, there's a reason why there's a thirst for that, that people who aren't even in college uh, or who never set foot in college want to read Zizek or Foucault or Moton or Land or whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be some of that, too. So, I mean, some of this is just going to be me doing the guy running his mouth to the camera. Some of it is going to be guests. And so, in certain ways, it's going to be a continuation, in a way, of uh, fluid exchange, which, if anyone knows, this is my short-lived podcast with my co-host, M. Lamar. And M. Lamar is definitely going to be on this, uh, too. Uh, and, um, yeah, Fluid Exchange got a bunch of great feedback. I mean, people really, that was already kind of taking off. Uh, but it had to be discontinued because I moved to L.A. And now it's long distance. But um, it couldn't be long distance. So, yeah, Fluid Exchange is done. But this is, this is going to be a more consistent... Um, version of that, you know, um, just constant. I need to be constantly interfacing. I can't, this is the thing, another reason why this is needed, uh, for me and I think for a lot of people is because this thing of making an album, doing a big project, you know, you work on this for a year, two years, three years, an album, it's like this vision and then it comes out and it's like this monumental statement, but it's also this like cryptic, you know, this like cryptic realm of like, what's the vibe? Like, what is it? And uh, I'm always going to be doing that. That's what art is. It's going to continue to be that. Psalm Zero, solo stuff, nothing human. Uh, you know, all my projects are continuing. But I need this more constant um, exchange and these more, like, the, these constant emanations uh, are going to be necessary for constructing reality. I can't just wait every two years to wait for the album cycle to express myself and then... You know, you get a couple interviews, like, scrambling to explain what the fuck I'm about and what I think reality is. This is going to be more collaborative, too. Guests. Um, and, you know, I'm going to hype up friends, music, uh, stuff like that. Talk shit on stuff. Culture wars, you know. Um, yeah. It's, it's, this is going to be great. It, this may not be the next Joe Rogan, but it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a needed uh, form of reality construction for me and hopefully for you. All right, here we go. Welcome.